Welcome to the movies of Delray Beach, beautiful South Florida. Welcome to the squad, the rise of the Chicanos. Excuse me, Kenny. What's going on? What's going on, man? Uh, we are here. You made it. Ooh, I, I know. made it. I, I, what a day it's what, been. I can only imagine, bro. I've been calling you, no answer, so we figured you're knee yes. deep, baby. Knee deep. I, I, I've been it, all over the place. How does it feel, bro? Surreal? It is. It I is. Mean, I'm, it I'm really excited. Yet. All the ladies and gentlemen are here lined up for you. Uh, you super know, super exciting. It's, it's really nice. I'm watching everybody walk in. I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces, families, people in the entertainment industry, just everybody that's been around. It's been really amazing. Yeah. You know, so it's amazing. I'm glad everybody came out. I'm really looking forward to them yeah. seeing the movie, enjoying the movie, and learning about a historic, you know, it's basically, it's, it's, it's a historic, you right. know. It's, this it's a true be. story, right? Yes, it is. It's, um, so of course, you know, we sensationalized it a little oh, bit, you know. Well, that's what um, makes it exciting. Yes, but, you know, the, the Houston Police Department decided to put together a, a police squad that was all Chicanos and said, you know what, we want you to go into the neighborhood and don't worry about people's diplomatic status, if they're here legally or not. We want to make the neighborhood safe while you're living in America and you're reestablishing yourself. And that's what they did, and that's what the squad is all about. Awesome, and you heard it here first. Kenny, from the squad, the rise of the Chicanos, we are live. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're on. We're here with Juan, uh, the squad, the rise of the Chicanos. Thank you so much for being here. Tell me a little bit about how you got here. Well, you know, I'm the writer director of the of the squad, Rise of the Chicano Squad. This is my fifth film, written, directed, and produced. Um, I'm writer, director, actor. Um, I do the editing, a lot of the different stuff for the film. Uh, this film here is actually based on a true story. Houston, Texas, had America's first dedicated. Uh, Spanish-speaking detective squad. They are a group of Mexican-Americans. Um, a, a Chicano is a politically active Mexican-American. And uh, this was a detective squad who was very successful in solving homicides in Houston, Texas. Uh, when they, when they uh, first took over so in 1979, Houston was the murder capital of the world. You had over 300 murders of Spanish speakers and they weren't getting solved. Zero were getting solved in one year. They got to the point where they were solving 80% of the crimes they were given. So they were just they were incredibly successful and made the streets a lot safer. Well, I really appreciate you being here, coming all the way down to South Florida to make this happen. Thank you so much. We look forward to this incredible movie. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what the crowd reaction is afterwards. I see, you know, you got a uh, local hometown hero here, Kenny. Yeah. And uh, Kenny plays opposite me. You know, uh, we're kind of the Starsky and Hutch in the, in the film, you know. Um, so, that, you know, there's five guys initially. Uh, all together it was over 12, but we just kind of highlight five in the story that we tell. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's go. All right, so check it out, guys. The movie's about to start, and you're yes. about to see it. I know you guys are excited. Um, what do you think you're going to see tonight, well, uh, Joe? Well, knowing this guy and the work he's done, it's going to be a great, great movie. Yeah, he's 100% class act. Very talented guy, very crazy guy. That's why I love him. Are you excited to see Kenny because he's our, our, our local oh, yeah. hero? yeah, Kenny, man. I can't wait to see. He's been talking about this for so long. I mean, we saw tidbits, parts of it. It's, it sure. looks great. I can't wait. Man. Yeah, I know. We're, we're excited to bring it here to, uh, you know, South Florida. Um, again, this is my fifth film. So we've got Squad 1, Squad 2 is already done. We'll be doing Squad 3. Uh, it takes place in the 90s. So this 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 is the, the beginning part of a whole the whole tri a trilogy and it kicks it off. So I'm just excited, man. I hope, I hope the people like it. Got you know. some crowd here, brother. Yeah, I got to ask man. you one thing. When? <laughs> you know, I, I, I got some comedies in the works, in fact, uh, you know, I, I don't... people too. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know, we got a saying, you're nobody in Houston, Texas unless you've been killed in a Juan C. Vasquez film. So, you know, we, 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 can, we, can, bring, we can bring that saying over here too. <laughs> got you, brother. Anytime. All right, so check it out. I'm with the Nasty Boys. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's, what's up? up? What's man? up, Nick? What's going on, Bobby? You know, you know. Listen, man, where are we at, man? We're at the premiere, dude, of The Squad, The Rise of the Chicanos, man. How do oh, you yeah. feel about it? Hola, Levato. Yeah, you know, this is how we do it over here, you know? That's what's up. And we're excited because our boy Kenny is uh, one of the Definitely. stars in the movie. Definitely. Always good to support, man. So Always good to we're support. We're just cheering him on. We're about to see the movie. We know it's going to be absolutely incredible. He's going to be shooting and killing people. And I he's mean, a good guy. Uh, no way. <laughs> yeah, he's a cop. There he is. Look at, look at the dumb look on his face. Look at, look at. Look at him. Kenny. He's a cop. The popo. <laughs> Kenny, I can't believe you're on the other side of the law. <laughs> Yo, but fellas, just check it. We know it's a movie, so you know. All right, all right, all right. You know, I can't do so. it. It's Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It's Hollywood in Fort Lauderdale. That's it. In real life, he's the bad guy, but in the movies, he's the good guy. There you go. Nothing but love, yo, from the nasty boys and your boy Nico holding it down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's, right. That's the champ is in the house. All right, so how exciting, yo. We're live right now at Kenny's premiere, The Squad. Hey. Are you yeah, excited the squad. or what? 
Oh, I'm what? very excited. Can Kenny. you believe that Kenny's Kenny. in a movie? Kit, yeah, Mad Cap. Yeah, He's amazing. Mad Chop is ridiculous. I, I call him Mad Cap. I know, baby. I got yeah. you. Mad Chopping and chopping it up, yeah. man. I'll tell you right now. I cannot wait to see the movie because once I see him, I'll see if he's going to be in my movie. Uh -oh. That's all. Oh, there you go. It's an audition. That's it. it Nothing but love, yo. <laughs> my name is no longer Cassius Clay. You have another thing against my religion, believe me. All right, so I think you had something to do with the movie. Tell them what you did. Okay, I'm Flash, Alex Flash, actually director of photography of the famous movie The Squad. It was my first but amazing project in Houston after years working in Hollywood. So, and it's an amazing experience with director and producer Juan. So, I like it, you're gonna love it because it's the best movie I yet done in Houston. John Anthony Garzon, let's go, bro. Hey, so uh, I. I'm in the squad. I play uh, the narco trafficker Chicano, and uh, it's a nice little uh, spin on the old narco story. It takes a uh, takes more of a perspective and an approach from from the detectives, and kind of gives it like a boiler room um, aspect to it. So um, I'm excited to see what the uh, result is. All right, so we're here with Tyler. Let's just take a look at Tyler right now, ladies. I'm going to tell you right now, tall, dark, and handsome. This guy's killing it. I don't even know how I'm even doing this interview right now. So we know you're on everything. Tell us a little bit about your background and what you're doing here at the squad. Oh. Oh, sure. Um, yeah, I've been an actor and producer for a little while, um, and I'm really excited about the squad. I came on with Juan um, since the beginning of this project, and uh, I'm really excited to be a part of it. And this is actually the first time I've seen it. Oh, it's yeah. going to be. So you've never yeah. seen never seen it before. Now that's exciting. We're definitely going to get Absolutely. an interview of you um, at the end and see if you did a good job. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, that's what's up. All right, check it out. We're at the squad. Your swag is ridiculous, man. We know you made the music to this movie. What's going on, my brother? Tell them who what's are going you? On, man, I'm Kuda Brown, and what's going on? It's the Chicano Squad, man. We had a movie premiere, but now we in Florida. Stay tuned, stay locked. It's sold. Out, coming to a city near you, coming to a screen near you, coming to a stream near you. And if you don't know, now you know. Boop, boop, boop. Follow me at M L K O D E R D R W N. Yalla Bali God. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, so check it out. We are live with the squad. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the squad. They, sh they showed up tonight on the red carpet for the premiere of their movie, The Rise of the Chicanos. Ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely epic. Take some pictures. Guys, how excited are you right now? Pretty excited. I mean, it, it, it's, it's building. I'm, I'm, I'm still just kind of like, I'm in awe having so many people show up for us and supporting the, the project. It's great. Absolutely. I'm, I'm absolutely pumped to see it. Like I said, this is my first time seeing it. Right, right, right. Kenny, how you feeling, baby? I'm thrilled, man. I, I, I'm so happy to see all the people that came out here. I wanted Juan to come out here, you know, to South Florida. After putting on such a, an epic show in Houston, I was like, oh, I got to... I gotta bring the I gotta bring the pain, you know what I mean? So I'm glad to see it. We're bringing it. We got my, the music band right here. Chicano squad, Chicano squad, on the come up, eerie, eerie, on the come up. We got John Garzon, who plays El Chicano, the, the the main villain in the in the film. Yeah, I just want to see how the recipe turns out after the <laughs> oven, you know. How exciting! So yeah, it's exciting. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Nothing but uh, respect and love for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for the squad! Whoop whoop whoop! Hey, and a big shout out to the Six Borough for coming out and supporting us. Uh, we, we love the we love the we love the support we get from you guys, man. It's right back at you. Thanks. Thank you. All right, we are here with the beautiful Susanna. Susanna, what are you doing at the Squad movie premiere? I'm here to support my friend Tyler Gallant. Tyler, where are you at, man? Come on in here. Thank you so much for coming out, Susanna. Thank you for having me. So, what do you have coming up next? Um, so I've got The Squad, I've got a movie that just came out in theaters called Space Wars, and then uh, I've got a few other things in the works. Alright, so we're here. Karen, what are you doing at this movie premiere right now on the red carpet? Ah, I am here to support Kenny, which is amazing. He's on the Six Burrow, he is one of the hosts, and absolutely supporting you guys. I love being on you got with you guys, being the official dating coach of the Six Burrow, so make sure you always tune in when I come on. But absolutely, here supporting the family. All right, we are with the beautiful Denise from the Six Borough Radio Show. Denise, what's going on, baby girl? Listen, I'm super excited to be here. I mean, just the Six Borough have had the opportunity to interview everyone that's basically here that's in the movie. Super excited. Can't wait to see them. Can you believe we're at Kenny's premiere right now? I mean, can you believe Kenny made it? He's in a movie? Let me just tell you, it's like I feel like my own child has been graduated and going on stage, and it's amazing. Our Kenny is going to be in a film. I'm so excited, and I'm 
We're so happy to be here. Kenny, nothing but love and respect. We're about to watch a movie in about five minutes, and then we're going to do some uh, reactions from the crowd. Nothing but love. Nothing but love, baby. All day long. All right, so Denise, tell me a little bit about the dress. How did you get this on? <laughs> um, I actually slipped into it, actually. I mean, it looks yes. Like, it looks like some kind of a shoestring apparatus. Like, pull the string, the whole thing's going to No, fall. don't be pulling anything. I thought it looks... More than you want to see. I was going to say, this looks uh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I just love it. We, we love you, Denise. Come on, girl. We love you. I'm representing. Just yes, representing. We got the Six Borough Radio Show right here live. How do you guys feel? Yo, these are, this is the guy right here. I'm excited. Theater now we're having a great time. We're about to see the squad. Awesome. You're about to see the greatest movie of all time. Let me tell you something. This this man ain't just an actor. This is my brother. I love this man. And, and, and I want to thank everybody in this room supporting us because we know you really do support us. And this, this is a lot of fun to come out here and share this movie. I'm not going to release this movie till probably around November. It's a Thanksgiving movie. So, it, with that being said, you know, this is a special screening to let people get a sneak peek of the film, you know, because everybody wants to see it and we want to show it to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of history on it. This is actually based on true events. Um, in Houston during the, like, 80s, 90s, up until 2010. 2010. Houston actually, the Houston Police Department created an all Chicano squad that was going into the migrant communities and saying, listen, we're not worried about your diplomatic status if you're here legally or not. But you came to America, you fought hard to be here, and we want you to be safe while you're here. And so this was the reason a lot of people weren't talking. And so they started talking, and the Chicano squad was able to make history by breaking up child trafficking rings, drug rings, cartels. It was, they, they did an amazing job. And it's amazing that nobody has bothered to make a story about them until Juan Vasquez is over here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a big thing is, in, in this film industry, we're, we, play, we play the uh, drug dealer a lot. We always play the, uh, you know, the pimp, the prostitute. This is a true story about Mexican-American detectives who solved crime. There, there, there was over 300 Spanish-speaking murders, they didn't solve any of them. These guys came in and solved 80% of the, the murder cases they were given. So they definitely made an impact on the community. Do I got any Mexican-Americans in here? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, this is this is a Latino film. You got you got Puerto Ricans in it. You got Colombians. You know, we're all, we're all contributing to to the film. Um, and it, but you know, again, we have to grab our stories and put them in the forefront and make them. And you know, that's what the Italians do, and that's what we got to do. And and that, that's the, the the truth is, you got to tell your own stories from your perspective. You know, it's funny. I, I get asked a lot, are you Mexican? I'm like, oh, yeah. Puerto Rican. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was Mexican before you talked about I was like, no, I just play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Fu Manchu thing. Yeah. Well, well no, no, we're excited. Uh, yeah. Give me your mic. It's like a shake. Right, we go. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm so excited to show you guys this movie. And afterwards, if you could just talk in the camera and, and tell them what you thought of the film. And again, this, this is a, a first screening. We're going to make some changes to it. You're getting a first look. So, you know, don't be too brutal on us. Yeah. Don't be too brutal. I'm ready. Lights, camera, action. Squad up. Let's go, the squad. We're live. Miami stand up. Now you know. And we learned this in trap playing. And what it comes down to is we just had some drunken conversation joint November of 2015. And within one year we took that drunken conversation to an award in Park Plaza, New York City in November 2016. So that's what I like about independent filmmaking and the way that technology has, you know, provided these avenues for us so we can just fucking get it. And that's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm 
this, this is a lot of fun. It's like just seeing the audience reactions, seeing everybody here. That's that's what it's about for me. I I really enjoy the process. Um, you know, just like I on trap plane, I grabbed you know John first. Just John's third movie with me. Uh, this is a true story. The first time he auditioned for me, this was in two thousand and five. That's how old he is. Um, and anyway, so he he was coming in an audition for a cop, and he comes in. I and I picked his picture up, and when he starts talking, I'm like. This is not a, he's not a cop. And he's like, no, no, listen, I can do this. Give me a shot. I go, listen, man, it's not you. And he's like, he's like, no, no, I can do this. He said, listen, take this script, go outside, study it, and come back and audition for that. He looks at it, he goes, oh, okay, okay, okay. And he come back. And it, you know, he came back in, it was, it was the role of the drug or the, the boss. It was a much bigger role. Much bigger role. But he comes back in, he takes off his shirt, goes all in for it, and now he's in his third movie with me. <laughs> right? You know, you know, you know, with Kenny, we met in 2017, right? No, no, it was actually 2015. Um, I went to a networking event and ended up meeting this promoter who introduced us, and we became friends. And so he was coming back to town to promote uh, he had just won Trap Plane, he had just won uh, Best Drama New York, York Web Fest. New York Web, New York City, I mean, he won. And so, um, you know, I knew he was coming down and everything, and, and the promoter for the other event was like, hey, listen, I know that your brother has a nightclub downtown. Shout out to Ed. You know, shout out to Eric, I see you over there, baby. And they were like, listen, you know, can we give him, a, can we give him VIP or can we do something for him? And at that weekend that they were, he was coming down, I was like, this was my fashion show. For those of you who don't know, I'm an artist and fashion designer, and uh, I, I had my fashion show that weekend, so I said, well, listen, I'm going to give them front row of my fashion show, and then we'll do the after party. And, um, and so it was crazy, man. It was a crazy show. We came through, we, we, we hung out, and we just became really good friends. He's from uh, Chicago in the same area I'm from, then he moved to Milwaukee, and it was like, you know, he ended up in Houston, I ended up in Florida, but we somehow met in Florida. And we just became really good friends. And so I shot this other movie, but I never talked to him. I only talked to him about art and fashion. I never talked about acting because I really didn't think about it that way. And so I ended up doing this movie that I starred in that ended up on Amazon Prime. And so I called him and I was like, Juan, you're not going to believe this. I did this movie. It's on Amazon Prime. Like, my face is next to Jokers. <laughs> and Juan goes, wait, you're an actor? <laughs> and I go, well, no. But I, I did this movie. Like, Bro, I got a role for you. And that's it. And now we're just getting ready to shoot our next film, Northside. Yeah, it's great. Um, with Angel Salazar, who plays Chi Chi in Scarface, is going to play my father in the next film. Yeah, that's what's up. I mean, you know, I think it was after I saw Shia LaBeouf play um, in The Collector. You know, I said, okay, we can, we can give uh, you know, a guy like him a chance to play a Latino detective. And, He's a real student of the game. He really studies it. He, I mean, you know, he asked the most questions out of any actor I've ever worked with. And, you know, he was just the, the constant professional. And, you know, we were, he, he sharpened everybody on, on the set. So I just want to definitely give him, you know, the gratitude that he deserves with that. And go ahead and say, say a couple words. This guy's a real professional, y'all. Real deal. Well, thank you guys. It's very kind. Um, all I just want to say is really, none of this happens without you guys. You know, I mean, we can't do any of this without, you know, viewers and fans and uh, people that sit in the seats. So, um, you know, you guys allow actors like me to be able to do what I love. So, thank you guys very much, and I hope um, you guys enjoyed the film as much as we enjoyed making it. Awesome. And then, hey, walk him up here. So they, they, this, this is Walt's third movie with me. On his first film, he got his head blown off in, uh, in the bathtub. And then, then he got a speaking role. Uh, you know, I just like killing him on tape, you know. That's the reason I keep him around. <laughs> I'm glad to be a part of it. I believe in him. Like I, like I always say, it's, it's more than just film. It's a movement. His films are creative, and they get better and better. And the, the whole cast is is talented and it gets better and better. It's like a family and I love to be a part of it. Awesome.
And then uh, last but not least, we got the cinematographer. Get up here. We got the Russian nightmare himself, Alex Flash. Yeah, Flash. Alex Flash. <laughs> so guys, I'm DP. I'm perfectionist because of my profession. As I see, it's not finished yet, but a lot of great job was done, and a little bit more to finish it up. And I was working with Hollywood for years. I moved to Houston, Texas. And that was the first project in Texas, a different environment, different people, but I loved it. It's a great job, great experience. And the movie making is storytelling. As I see, it's a great story being told pretty well. And you love it, and then we love it. So congratulations, everyone. Woo! One really, really big special welcome, welcome to, you know, there's, you look at these people that are on film, these all actors that started somewhere, they started in film, they started on theater, and I want to welcome the Somerset Key Academy students of theater, they are the theater club, please stand up. That's the future right there. Freddie, what's going on? What do you think of the movie? Amazing, 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 amazing. I love independent movies. I, I know Mega Chop, beautiful setup, very nice, nicely done. I just want to know if Kenny comes back for the next Avengers film. Yes, I think he's gonna make it. You think he's gonna make 100%. it? One hundred percent. I love Kenny. He's great. Juan, all these people, fucking talented people, and like the fact that you guys pulled this off. Come on, Kenny should be in the next Avengers film. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna miss you time tonight. You know, we're over here um, supporting our friend, Kenny, Mac Chop, right. out here from Florida. You know, you got to support your locals, all right? Before you go anywhere out there, you got to remember, there's locals around you and everything. So tonight was an amazing performance, you know, something we haven't seen out here. From, uh, you know, a true story, that's the second part. So, you know, we welcome you to come see it. And you know what? Just love everybody, good vibes, and that's about it. We have to come back and, and see again. Because Pero diré en español también. Que tenemos que volver otra vez. Los hispanos tenemos que volver aquí porque está buenísimo. Pero lo gustó. Sí, no, no, no. Hey, that's Kenny. Sí. That's Kenny. Sí. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah, wow. De, oh, de mamá. Gracias por venir. Muchísimas gracias. I love, I love Kenny. That's my little boy. We like Kenny. After my son. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very proud from Kenny. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Muy, muy bueno, muy bueno, muy buena movie. Yo lo recomiendo. Ahorita paso por el, okay. por el Facebook de Bad Buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you heard it here first. We already got one fan. Somebody likes it, and uh, we had we had some good reactions. Yeah, we had some good reactions there. I'm just really glad to have everyone just kind of come out and support and and and, and come out and, uh, and, and you know, just give us a really good showing. How do you come across, I mean, you did really, really good acting, being mean, um, but did you do a lot of training for that role? Because normally you're really... So I'm, I'm probably more of a method actor, and, um, and, and I've kind of seen a lot, I've kind of been around, and I, I, I had a lot to draw from, um, and, and so I just kind of, I guess, what I do is I take some of the folks that I've seen that are, I, I, I've run into some characters, I would imagine. And, um, and then I kind of try to incorporate, you know, as much as myself, as much as them, and just try to be as authentic and genuine and just try to, you know, translate that, you know, through the camera. Yeah, essentially. Amazing job, bro. Well, thank amazing. you. Thank you very much. Perfect. Absolutely. Because I met you before I yeah. saw you on film. So two different guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You for know, sure. So. No, no, for sure. Like, in real life, you're a man. I can talk immense, myself yeah. out of the speeding ticket. You know, yeah, I'm not yeah, a murderer. Yeah, you know. No, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, man. Watch out for this guy. He's not somewhere, folks. He's everywhere. Let's go. All right. So check it out. We are live right now. We're on the red carpet. We just saw the squad. Mag Chap Kenny and his beautiful daughter. Cecilia. That's thank already you. grown up. I don't know how the heck that happened. I, I don't know what it happened. Either. I don't know. I thought they start. They started off in diapers. They she skipped that. Went right to college. So Kenny, we got you right now, bro. Before uh, the uh, pandemonium starts, what do you think of your performance? I, you know, well, listen. I'm gonna critique myself the whole time, but there, I was actually very proud of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm listen. You didn't jump out of character. You were focused. Every inch of you was real incredible. Yeah. I'm just telling you, so you know, did an amazing job. What did you think? Your performance was very natural. Like you, you really sounded like you were like completely in character the whole time, and all your reactions were like perfect. Like you were like in it. Like you were, you were Lopez. Like you weren't even my dad anymore. I was like, who's that? <laughs> nice. I love it. 
Thank it was you. super good. I paid her to say that. <laughs> no, it, thank it, you. It's the truth, bro. You did an amazing job. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, on to the next. You saw it here first. The squad. Meg Chop Kenny, baby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, the movie was great. It was awesome. Y'all didn't sugarcoat it. The 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 story it was raw material. Sure. Nothing was sugarcoated. And then the captain. Oh my God, the captain was awesome. I don't even know where he got those lines from, but he was he was one of the best parts of the movie. But everybody did an awesome job. And like I said, the material was raw. Nothing was sugarcoated. It was one of the best movies I've ever seen. What did you think? Yeah, man, he did a great job. It was a great great storyline. Uh, the acting came out good. Uh, you could see the different details and the different structures of all the characters. It was good. Good. And we really appreciate you uh, being here. Yeah. It was nice to be here. Thanks for having me. And what was your favorite part? I like the shootout. The shootouts was yeah, good. And what about your favorite character? Uh, character. Like the cop. Which cop did you like the best? Did you um, like the bad guy? Uh, I like the bad guy and I like the cops. So, yeah. They, they they did really well. They did good. They right? did great. All right, guys, we just got done with the movie. The crowd went wild. What did you guys think? Oh, it was awesome. The response was great. I mean, it's in it's a great film. Everybody needs to look into it. That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, I was really grateful for the uh, the audience that showed up. People had the energy, and they they really seemed like they enjoyed it. So I'm very grateful. And what was your favorite part, really quickly, or favorite character? It couldn't even be yourself. All the comedic parts with the captain, definitely. Unbelievable. Very quick way to, what was your favorite part? The shootouts or what? I, I got to say, my buddy Mike Gassaway played the captain. He's played the captain. Yeah, no, he did incredible. Killed it, no, as always. Killed it. Amazing job. Guys, thank you so much. My pleasure. You are watching The Squad, The Rise of the Chicanos. Let's go. Yalla bali God. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Check out The Squad. We hope you guys had an incredible time tonight watching the movie The Squad, The Rise of the Chicano Squad. We are live in Delray Beach, beautiful Florida. Absolutely amazing turnout. The actors, the ambiance, the people. It was just absolutely amazing. The next movie you need to see is The Squad. And you are watching In the Now Show featuring Nico. Until next time.